Hello cadets, welcome back. Today I'm gonna go over the top three tips for using Etherscan for us average users. I'll show you how to get emails when you send and receive transactions to your wallet, how to write notes for your transactions, and using the QR system to make sure you're moving funds to the correct address. Mm, if that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will, except maybe another bull run by Christmas. <laughs> All right, let's get started. My name is Gio and welcome to Cryptonauts. Cryptonauts. Okay, let's get started with my favorite tip, getting emails for sending and receiving transactions from your wallet. If you have a wallet like Exodus or even cold wallets like Ledger Nano or the Keep Key, they don't provide a way to get notifications. So to fix this, you'll want to go to etherscan.io and log into your account. Register an account if you don't have one yet. These tips won't work without an account. Once you're logged in, on the left side, click on watch list under my address. You'll want to click add new address. Copy and paste the eth address you'd like to monitor, write a simple description, and select email notification. Once the monitor address is created, click on the edit icon on the left, and from the list of options, I recommend selecting notify on incoming and outgoing transactions. If you're tracking tokens, click on also track ERC20 token transfers. Finally, click on save changes and you're good to go. I'll do a quick demo transaction. I'll send 34 cents from my MetaMask to my empty ETH wallet. And there you go. I get an email about the transaction. Tip number two, writing memos for each transaction. To do this, find the transaction ID from the email you received and then scroll down to the bottom. There you'll find the text field for private note. Type in your note, press enter, and you're done. Tip number three, QR code lookup. If you need to transfer funds using your mobile phone, you can do a search for the address. Then across from overview, you'll see a little QR code icon. Click it and it will expand. You can also use this QR code on a business card or maybe you have a physical shop. You can give your customers this to scan so you can get paid. So that's it. I hope you find these tips useful. I definitely use email notifications. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next episode.